Hey guys, it's Fane of Mercy here, and uh, we're here with another episode of our Grim Dawn Let's Play. Uh, today we're going to be getting to the Warden. I don't know if it's going to be in this episode or the next episode, but it will be within one of the next two. Uh, we left off last episode getting to the outer edge of the Burwich Estates, and uh, I got a whole bunch of quests to turn in. I already got rid of all my crap in my inventory. Uh, I found out I got a really, really nice jacket that I picked up, didn't notice. But uh, we be able to use that at level 20. And I'm going to go turn in all of these quests. Uh, starting with Mr. Olgram. He is supposed to be a chef, but we'll find out later. It's not really. So he says, uh, well, Flo is my savior. He thanks me. And if he ever needs anything, I can come talk to him. Uh, he gives you a bunch of stories. He'll give you some soup that will actually heal your, heal your life. And that's Olgrim for right now. And then over here, we've got Angram. He's the blacksmith we saved. Um, if you decide to join us, you get some XP. If you click on him, this will give you the blacksmithing uh, UI. So, with blacksmithing and crafting in general, um, it's actually going to use all of the recipes that you've located throughout all of your playthroughs. So if you find a pretty good recipe on one of your guys that you don't think you'll use on him, you can go back and create another character of a different spec, come back and craft, craft him something, and uh, yeah, it's nice. So that's the blacksmith. We don't really have any crafting materials right now, so we can't really use them. Uh, let's go talk to have you Mr. Found a Rift John Burwich. What's the situation out there? Good work. While you were gone, I dug through some of the files in this office, and I think we have our target. As you are acutely aware, ethereals can possess humans and bend them to their will. I always had my suspicions, but now I have little doubt. The former warden of this prison is possessed. Well before the Grim Dawn, in fact. There have been countless holes in the prison records, prisoners just disappearing, never to be seen again. The warden's personal logs paint a more complete picture He's been transferring prisoners into a secret facility underneath his mansion in Burwich Village for years. What for, I don't know, but I'm sure it wasn't for rehabilitation. There are also several mentions of ethereals and rift gates. I need you to find this man, or whatever he has become. Warden Krieg owned a mansion in the northern district of Burwich Village. The logs indicate that his facilities can be reached via the cellar. I'm afraid I don't have more to go on, but if we want to strike back at the ethereal power structure in the region, the Warden is our prime target. Alright, so we're off to fight the Warden. It was way up here, north of the Burwich Estates. Uh, you actually get a couple more waypoints up here, too. Uh, Alright. Just going to talk to Mr. Crazy Man, who wants us to kill things. This guy right here with Harmond. Uh, says, I can tell you've had your share of horrors. Uh, tell me what was the battle like. I'm going to say it was gruesome and bloody, just the way I like it. He goes, I hope they suffered. Nobody's there to be torn apart by monsters like that. Now there are a few less in the world. Thanks to you. Here, take your iron. Gives me some gold. And some scrap. Cool. So, uh, I did notice that we forgot to save or take care of Milton. Uh, he is actually located between the Whitemire and the Sodden Hollow, which I believe is in this big black spot that I just completely skipped over. So we're going to go take care of him first. Pretty quick quest. Should be destroying stuff right now.
is. Turn all these guys outside of it, and Milton should pop up here pretty soon. Do I have to kill the door? There he is. It's pretty big. It should be pretty easy since it's way over his level. Still hits like a truck though. Let's head back to Milton's sister, whoever she is. Pretty sure she's his sister. Alright. <clears throat> she gives me an amulet. Or uh, a ring for giving her the amulet of her brother. And I don't think it's... What? It said it was a ring, but apparently it's not. It's an amulet. It's a pretty good defensive amulet. Which I'm going to go sell. Alright, now we can finally get on to actual Burwich. And where we left off. So in Burwich we're going to be looking for Kasparov's Apprentice. Um, it's going to be the guy that wanted you to use the rift gate in front of him. It's kind of weird, yeah. And I don't remember where the Apprentice is, so it's going to take a while. I think she may be in here. We'll see. whole bunch of cellars beneath uh, Burwich. And they all kind of come out in different areas. So apparently this is not the right one. We'll find them. Let's go ahead and level up. took those, so now I'm going to take one of these. A 
A little bit of a frame rate drop. Looks like she's probably not here either. She's not in this one either, so... Try this one over here. This actually just leads back to where we were, it's just that dead end area. giant blocked off boulder area. So that one's not it either. Nice little dead end area. So, this little book stand right here actually gave me a quest. Um, I'm supposed to go confront one of the guys inside of the Devil's Crossing area. Uh, I think it gives you an option to kill him. We'll find out.
these scarecrows. Slowing me down and making me bleed. Yeah, he's painful. He probably didn't give me anything either. Yep, nothing. here. I'm going to go pick up a quest in town. And go take care of Dorini. What do you want? This is the guy that didn't like you when you first got in here. So he actually sabotaged the water pump uh, when you have to go down there and take care of the slith. And he's a big coward. I'm gonna let him live. Looks like he got in with the wrong class, wrong crowd, and uh, he also gives me a key to get into the depraved sanctuary, which is that area close to where you picked up the blacksmith. Oh, and uh, let's go pick up that quest too. So this quest up here is really easy to miss because you hardly ever come up here. You get it from Constance, and it is a quest to go to the abandoned waterfront and pick up some fabric for her. So my first playthrough I missed it. Uh, actually I think I got the the quest for it but it was after I'd already been through the abandoned waterfront and sold my freaking fabric. That was a pain. Game's actually nice to you right here, and it shows you where the fabric can be picked up.
So, I think this is actually the um, area where you find Casparov's furnace. <coughs> Those starred cellars right there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kill all these people around here and take care of that. Pretty easy. Still saving up my shrine points because I don't know what to put them in yet. I did gain a level, so. Let's go ahead and. See what I'm going to put them in. Put them in my main ability. That's pretty nice. We'll take that. And let's get it. Let's borrow this new helmet. Kinda looks ridiculous. It's just a metal face plate with some straps on the back of it. It's okay. <laughs> and here's Casparov's apprentice, Miss Darlet. <clears throat> Alright, center town just like everybody else with the rift gate. And let's finish up this little area. But to the right, actually, opened up a secret passageway. Go in that for a second. It's not very secret because it actually showed you the untouched meal in here. A bit of burn damage, some physique, and more armor. I'll take that. All right. I think that's all the side quests to do here. Let's go ahead and get the Warden Creek's prison. Oh, that's creepy. It's a nice little touch there. Warden Creek's prison. It's right up here. 
some reason I tend to miss it quite a bit. Uh, I think because I just get to here and then turn around and go everywhere else, but... It's up here. There's a lot of enemies in it, too. There's a whole entrance way to it. Those are pretty insane achievements here. Um, I have not been able to do. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It says slay, slay Warden Krieg on veteran mode with a character under level 11. I'm level 17. And probably still have three, four areas left to go before I get to him. Um, so that's a pretty tough one. Um, I may have to try that later on. Just wanted to point that out to you if you doing this and you want to do it in your first playthrough. That's uh, something to fight for. Alright. Picked up the waypoint. And we're going to make our way to the prison. Slash experimentation area.
trying to get ahead of myself here. Um, I haven't been exploring a whole lot. So this could be painful later on. It's going to be out leveling me. Especially when you get to the bosses. They're the ones that are really going to matter. There are quite a few secret passageways here, uh, especially in the, the walls and the big open areas in the map. You'll find them. funny. I don't know if you noticed, but right there when those spiders came down, my guy started shooting straight up in the air. I guess I was aiming at them. Didn't realize it. Got a boss coming. And poison boss is gonna hurt. Yeah, he does. Quite a bit. So, pick that up. Ruins are awesome. Most of them actually give you experience boosts. So it comes in handy. Took time to finish that off. I have a feeling Warden Creek is going to be kind of rough for me. We'll find out.
everywhere. Look away, it's just the regular old zombies. Those old Ember Guards don't take too much damage from me. Sucks that almost all my damage is fire damage, but... Work on that later. Still do plenty of physical damage to take care of Not back as nice. Actually, a mini boss in the hidden lab. We're getting close. So, guys are hard to see. 